Hey everyone, so this is Dr. Lawal Sala once again of NYC Emerging Healthcare Technology, your go-to place if you want to learn more about blockchain, machine learning, artificial intelligence, data science, and web development in healthcare. And also if you want to learn more about digital health. So today I'm very excited because, well, I'm going to show you how to create your own medical information page or medical information website and some of the proponents or components of a medical information page. So uh, what you see in front of you, if if you can clearly see so this is the title which is the coronavirus disease an image of that disease and a brief description of the disease so the description because we are talking about COVID-19 here COVID-19 affects different people in different ways and that infective people have a wide range of symptoms reported that from mild symptoms to severe illness and also another aspect or section is the signs and symptoms which for COVID-19 would include fever chills and shortness of breath now this is the signs and symptoms are actually very important important because uh, for your viewers because some of your viewers may not be medical and it is important for them to be able to recognize the signs and symptoms on their end for that for their selves for themselves and for their loved ones and another uh, section for this uh, medical information page or, or website is having a look for emergencies which is just your red flags now Red flags are important because this is actually the point or the, the part where your your viewers will be able to you know refer or go directly to your healthcare professionals or healthcare practitioners whenever they have these red flags. So for COVID-19, for example, what to look for for emergency warnings would include troubled breathing, persistent pain, new confusion, inability to stay awake, and bluish lips. Now another part or section of your medical information is your reference. So if you can clearly see here, there's a form more information and then it automatically links you to the Centers for Disease Control, which is the reference for this web page or this website. Now, this is important, especially because you want to have reliability because we are not doing, you know, fake news or misinformation. So it's important for your viewers to be able to identify where the references is for this uh, medical page or medical website. Now, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure to click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you will be able to hear and see every time I upload new videos and new contents. And also, please make sure to tell your friends about this website so that I can have uh, more, have more subscribers. So thank you so much. And I think we're ready for the next part. So let us go. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to ask you, especially if you're a new web developer, is to download your Git Bash. This is important, especially if you're a Windows user, because it helps you, uh, it's easier, and you can actually see rather than using your uh, shell. And another, this is another thing, which is, you know, a lot. it's a lot easier if you're a Mac user. So <laughs> kudos to the Mac users. And if you want to donate your MacBook to me, then, you know, I'm always accepting donations. And what's this? And another thing that I want to focus on, if you want to eventually, you know, like you want to publish your your page or the one that you created, you can actually do so by purchasing Bluehost. And I have actually the link down below if you want to purchase your own domain uh, through or through using uh, publisher using Bluehost for that matter. So, okay. So right now that we have that in, in place, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go now to my desktop directory. So uh, again, it's up to you if you want to put your, your, all your projects in one directory, but personally for me, it's easier because I am able to, to think easier and review my codes uh, a lot easier if I put everything in in or all my projects in one directory. So right now we are in the projects directory. I am just going to do an MKDIR by writing uh, med info. I think that's correct. COVID med info. And then now that we have this uh, directory, I'm just gonna change directory by writing oh, med info now that we're inside we're just gonna write touch index.html and index.css now with uh, that we can just write code and then our visual studio code will open up okay so now that we have all this i'm gonna create another folder where i'm gonna put all the images and I am going to copy these two images. So these images I actually got from unsplash.com. So make sure to 
copy make sure to what's this to uh, give credit where credit is due and mention of course where you got your images so i'm just gonna put these images in here paste it and if i look now at my visual studio code i can see that all the images are already in there so very nice now we're going to do now and go at to our index.html by writing doc and this will be that's right covid med info and with covid med info i'm just gonna add the link uh, index.css and i want to make it look prettier by adding bootstrap so i already have the bootstrap here you can just uh, what's this? search for bootstrap and you can get the cdn immediately contact save and you know i want to add something else here because you know everyone is uh focused right now on uh what's this on search engine optimization so i'm gonna add you know just a brief what's this description to make your website for example a lot better and uh, people will actually be able to view and see your website you know by writing a description and with description i'm just gonna say content what's the content for this one will be covid 19 medical information and then just close it okay now that we have everything in place we are going to start by writing header and in the header here Yes, I'm just gonna write primary header and then this will be our container and this will be a group and then I'm gonna write h1 here this will be class logo logo TV yeah, like drag race <laughs> then I'm gonna write index.html and then I'm just gonna make this bold by writing B. And this will be your coronavirus disease. And then contact save. And then part of the header would be the images. So image IMG. And then the source would be images slash spear covid the out will be just a description of the image so this coronavirus just write the image and then i'm just gonna put the width let's say 300 pixels that's good enough and uh what's this h3 H3 class B tagline and you know in tagline I'm gonna write COVID-19 affects different people in different ways then infected people may have a wide variety of symptoms and these symptoms may be mild or severe depending on individual susceptibility and environmental factors so which is why it's i was just it's, it's a lot more i mean if you're an elderly you're much more susceptible and those who are you know uh living in high closed environment are very much what's this high high risk so now that we have our header in place the next thing would be to write a div so this div would be mostly the class this would be container then h2 is gonna write br 
body a uh, bold sorry a bold by writing signs and symptoms now that we have the signs and symptoms we are going to do the ordered list for this one by writing order this is start we can write zero and then our list would be so what are the first uh, fever then you have chills and then most of them would manifest um, what you call shortness of breath of breath or difficulty of breathing and then afterwards so you're going to write the emergency which is the F4 B make it bold again by writing for emergency or the red flags emergency warnings or the warnings and then with that we're going to write the unordered list so and all right so i got i got this all from the cdc website or cdc www.cdc.com so i'm gonna just read on it trouble breathing so this is important for the emergency warnings again as i mentioned because these are the signs and symptoms which you know uh, your patients or your viewers will be able to say that they needed to go to contact a healthcare provider or go to immediately proceed to a healthcare facility so other than troubled breathing you also have persistent pain and then after persist and other than person there are a lot actually so i just gave uh three what's this three signs and symptoms but there are a lot manifestations of covid19 and also uh, a lot manifestations for uh warning signs and these are just some again as a caveat these are just some and it's always important to refer to go to the cdc website whenever you're creating your own uh, web page so and then new confusion and then another one is ability to stay awake and the last one is bluish lips and then the last part is really your what's this h5 would be Let's make it bold so that it you know and then we're just gonna write for more information no and i'm going to write an a tag for this one a tag would be there would be www.cdc.gov cdc.gov and this will be centers for disease control now, if you see with the A tag, actually, this is where actually a lot of fraud is happening, especially if you get an email, for example, that says this is the so-so bank, city bank or whatever. And then uh, the link is actually being sent to another another web website or web page where they can actually hack your your basic uh, what's this information. So it's important, especially not to click, especially if, you know, you get all these unsolicited emails right now, not to click the, the website because sometimes, you know, even if they say they're legitimate, they're not actually legitimate. So this is where uh, this? it's important to, to know, you know, that these are some of the tricks that uh, a lot of fraudsters do to, to get uh, your information or to get your data. So I think that we have uh, in place. So let's go now to the index.css and try to make it, uh, try to make our, what's this, our website look better or prettier. So for the body, let's just say um, background image. This URL would be uh, images slash COVID-19, the JPEG. And then afterwards, we have your just like none so that everything will be, what's this, the entire page will be placed, the entire, will cover the entire page. And then the image will cover the entire page. And then after the body, we have your H1, H2, H3. 
the line, the A, and the H5, and it's going to change the color to white. Or white smoke, not white. White's a lot better. And then afterwards, the H4, because this is our red, oh, this is our, you know, the reddish discoloration. <laughs> no, the, 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 uh, the color would be red because it's a warning sign. So the color would be red, not tomato red. So I think we're ready to watch our open our website and let's see, let's cross hands and see if everything is okay. So, oh, the more information, I think this is just, yeah, we have to, uh, what's this, to look at, why is the, what's this, the information. So let's see, where did we make a, oh, okay, this one. Okay, so yeah, everything is there. The coronavirus disease, the image, the short description, the signs and symptoms, 012, okay, the look for emergency warnings. And I don't want zero or one, two, right? So I wanna put fever into one. So instead of, what's this, instead of that, so I'm gonna change that by going to my index.html because we're using ol and we want to start with one. So if you look at our, what's this? See, so science and symptoms, you can see the fever, the chills and the shortness of breath. All right, so if you want to, <laughs> if you like this video, please make sure to click the like button and make some comments. And if you don't, I hope that you, you know, you, I hope that you stay, stay safe, everyone. So wherever you're in the world, I hope that you stay safe and take care of yourself. So thank you so much for joining this uh, short tutorial and stay safe. Have fun, guys. Bye-bye.